Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode uh, all right. I'm Nuklan. of God of War Ragnarok. So, last time we finished in Vanaheim and headed back to Sindri's house, and Atreus decided to run off to Asgard. So that's where we are now. Can I do anything with this? I'm going to go with no. Because I think they need fire. Hmm. Father would just burn this away with his blades. But what can I do? Huh. Maybe that sigil magic on my bow can help. What does Rob say? Welcome! If I could just get that fire to spread to the bramble. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Hey, that's what I said. Does that mean I can do that for down here? The one at the bottom disappeared because I wasn't quick enough. Gosh darn. How did that not trigger the other one? That's not how. Neither is that. Mm. Gonna need a better angle on that fire. I worked that time. Finally. Sometimes getting these angles just right to get these is a little awkward. But I'm glad I persevered. Where are you taking me, Raven? Now, here's the other question that I have, right? Wait. That sounds like people. These Odin Ravens are not glowing green like the other one, like the collectible ones we take out. Why is that? Need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's nothing to see this way except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? Nope. Not unless you're an ace your god, but I guess you'd know that if you were an ace your god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh, All Father saved us from the desolation, gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. 
Can't get into the city unless you know magic. Do you... you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, can you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long you stay? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. This all seems like a terrible idea. This I gotta see. You need help? Appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Was that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? So, how are you gonna do it? One step at a time, I guess. But. With hands. Well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. It shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic, last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Th nothing. Hey, you're doing great. <sighs> I'm aware I'm doing great. Thank you for the support. You can do it, Loki. Thanks, Gilder. Hope you're right. Already made a lot of progress. Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? Well, over there, obviously. Hey, Hoogan, don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. Oh, hi, guys. Why? Up here? Oh, no. Why did it stick itself into the ground? Ow. Ow. These guys deal by frost damage too? Oh, well, that one's gone. Chain down. Oh right, yeah, the chain. I remember seeing that as I came up, but then um Then I got distracted by the fight. Can you start swinging so I can grab all of you? Thank you. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. 
That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. I think you can't hear him because it's not... I think it's a magical raven opposed to a naturally born raven. Breathe. And... Yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. <sighs> or not. Uh, wanna just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. Yeah. Bye. Oh, it's like a fight. Totem? Like the more you kill, the more it breaks. Hey guys. How about how about no? Why not my let's put my runic ones back on. Yet not. They're all dead now. I'm gonna go with yes. Well, this is going well. Yeah, up. Oh, I get it. Why couldn't you have just taken me there? Whoa. Okay. These are connected. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. Gotta do both sides though. Both sides? What about this might work? Okay, that was not what I expected. Here we go. Okay. That was super ambitious. Made it. Is that it? Nope. Hey, you get to fly. I'm doing what I can. Okay, it was it. It was the raven that I heard. Yeah, but you can also turn into a bear, Loki. Can you not turn into like a falcon, an eagle, a kestrel? Huh. I don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. <clears throat> hey, Hugin. How about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb, by himself, all the way up Primter's wall. So, what did Loki... Ah! So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. 
Are you explaining everything? He just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. You might want to stop explaining things to Odin's spies. Nowhere to go but up. Okay, okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. Come on. Come on. There we go. I thought we were going into that little, like, I thought we were going to go into a crawl space then and. Oh, oh, wait. Okay. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. <sighs> How on earth are you doing that? Enormous wall made you think. Oh, visitors must be welcome. I was sent for actually by Odin. The All Father sent for you. <laughs> Great. Mm. Then why are you out there and not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Ah! Oh! Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, All Father, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you? That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> think you could pull me up, or...? No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where are you? Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar? <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. <sighs> I will be the judge of that. Hey, is that Gallerhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Yes. Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. Mm hmm. I'm gonna do it anyway. Just ask your questions already. How do you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh, you are here to help people. Hmm. 
No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> What a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Uh, I suppose it does. Ghoul Topper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burned. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Okay. I just stole some more stuff. I hope you don't mind. Whoa. Are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you, clearly whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Primther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace. Do you think the All-Father needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the All-Father built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Ha! Hey! Whoa! Oh. Hey, helmets! I brought you a practice demo. I thought we were going to own it. You see, the thing is, you do. I am not letting you anywhere. The old. Oh, very nice. It moves like that. It is a wonder that they both are lost before they ever fought. It seems like I've got a lot more than all your people are throwing at me. Well, that was boring. Guess who's next? You sure you want to keep off father waiting? Funny thing, I am sure about that. Yes, I am feeling very sure, matter of fact. Whoa! Whoa! How is he doing that? Oh, not even close. Oh no, arrows. How fearsome. You're not going to stop me from seeing Odin. You'll be seeing him from your grave. What? That doesn't even make sense. What am I supposed to be doing here? <laughs> Is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Jotun? <laughs> wow. I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down.
smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki! You made it! I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? He Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, Father. Oh, Mother. So, uh, Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think. You know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh? <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, He's not exactly getting an unbiased view, but you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Are they Valkyries? Priest, meest, carry on, pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All father. Queen Gnaw. The Einherjar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Hmm. Guess there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these Einherjar. But they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon the Nafen, Rothgar. Moon the Nafen, Form. Moon the Nafen, Tiana. Well, that was weird. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jurgen, those better not be mushrooms I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer. But I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Study there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. 
I need someone with drive, with curiosity, someone who'll take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erlen, try to stay awake for me. Okay, but... Look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in. A major learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? A truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I'm not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here. In our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right, I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, uh, just over there, All Father. Yes, sir. <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You training puck pockets? You know what, Verlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down. And they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Where do you know? Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. Well then, I will do that at the beginning of next episode. If you enjoyed this one, hit the like button below, or let me know what you thought in the comments, and join us next time for the next one.